Hello, I'm Alex, and I'd like to tell you a story about my dad. I remember when I was a kid, in the morning before I got up for school, I could hear the rough swish of his starched uniform as he prepared for work, and the zipping-like sound of the speed laces when he tied his boots, which were always impeccably shined. Then the door would open, the car would start, and he'd head out to do his thing. I wouldn't see him again until after I came home from school, and I remember the scent of his uniform as I hugged him. It smelled like hospital, where he usually worked. Sometimes he came home with not so shiny boots, or a sharper uniform, and he carried a much bigger bag as he was returning from the field. On the weekends I remember him waking up equally as early, except this time he wasn't in boots. He walked into my bedroom, approached me gently, and said firmly, let's go. Part of me dreaded getting up because it was usually for a 20 mile run, or something like that. And part of me relished in getting up before everyone else, just like Dad did, and spending time with him. It was also during these times that I became more familiar with the words sacrifice, gratitude, and perseverance. He would tell me about the times he jumped out of planes to set up field hospitals for wounded soldiers and civilians. How his parachute took him smack into the Nellis Air Force Base runway during a training exercise. And how his discipline and jump training saved him from breaking any of his bones that day. He talked about how his dad, my grandpa, survived the Bataan Death March during World War II. And so not only lived to make a family, but also give them the opportunity for a better life here in the United States. A better life with food on the table, a decent roof over our heads, and the blessed opportunity to serve God and neighbor every day instead of fearing for our lives every time we walk outside the house. And so perhaps that's the message I'd like to leave with you today. There's a cost. There's a cost for us being able to be here to do the things we like to do, and not like to do even though we should. A cost to have the things we have, a cost to live and learn and love the way we can and should. And that people, like my grandpa, my dad, and me, continue to pay that every day. The best way to thank us? Live your life well. Learn what is true and right and good and loving and do it. If you need help, ask for it. And if you make a mistake and fall, it's okay. Get back up, dust yourself off, and do it again. Nowadays, I find myself doing some of the same things with my kids that my dad did with me when I was little. My uniform is basically a onesie and it zips instead of buttons. When I come home, it might smell like jet fuel, or kind of like someone just started the lawnmower. And I get to tell my kids about how exciting it is to touch two planes together in the sky to transfer fuel, and how I might need to wake up super early or stay up super late to make sure that the plane and the people flying with me from here or places far from here are ready to go if the phone call comes that says, we need you. My dad's joints bother him, so he does the elliptical more than running now. He stretches a lot, and he says the rosary every day. He doesn't wear the uniform anymore, but I can't help feeling like he's suiting up with me when I put mine on. One day, I won't wear the uniform either, but some of you might. Wherever life takes you, I hope you'll remember that someone out there is suiting up. Because, as Samwise Gamgee from Lord of the Rings said, there's some good in this world, Mr. Frodo, and it's worth fighting for.